Have you ever heard the story of Jam Jam the Ice Cream Man? No? Well that's okay. Not many people outside of my town know who Jam Jam is. In life, his name was James Dern, and he was a pretty simple guy. All he wanted in life was to make children happy. Supposedly, from the stories I've heard growing up, James Dern was not the most handsome, nor the brightest, but he was incredibly loving and giving. His parents were extremely controlling and extremely religious, to an obsessive degree. It seems everything that James did was wrong in the eyes of his parents. He laughed too loudly. He smiled too broadly. They didn't like him telling jokes or dancing because children of God should be serious about life. This constant disapproval and subsequent punishment for his wrongdoings eventually started to eat away at James' cheerful disposition. He kept trying to fight it though, and he kept trying to do what he thought was his reason for being, making people happy. In high school, James started dressing up as a clown and going to local children's hospitals after school. He would make balloon animals and tell the patients jokes to cheer them up. His parents and their circle of friends thought what James was doing was making a mockery of the sick and told him that if he really wanted to help them, he would offer up prayers at the hospital instead of being a clown. When James became an adult, he scrapped together all of his savings and bought a truck. Combining his love for ice cream and his passion with making people, especially children, happy. I always thought the reason he focused on making children happy was because his own childhood was marred with such sadness and cruelty. But I digress. Anyways, because James had such an innocence about him and childlike personality, Rumors started after he opened his ice cream truck for business that a grown man could not possibly be that way unless it was a ruse for some nefarious purposes. But even with the rumors about James circulating, his ice cream truck was a hit. He started dressing up in his old clown outfits and went by the name Jam Jam the Ice Cream Man. All the children and most parents loved him and whenever they'd hear his truck jingle, they'd come running in droves. One day, Jam Jam was running late on his route, but was insistent that he do it anyway, knowing that it made people happy to see him and his ice cream truck rolling around. The sun had just set and the air was cool, as Jam Jam happily drove around in his truck. He slammed on his brakes as he turned the corner onto a Bernathy Bridge, the horrific scene in front of him rooting him to the spot. A group of teenage boys stood around a naked, unconscious girl, some zipping up their pants, some peeing on the poor girl. Jam Jam honked his horn to scare the boys off, and when they looked up and saw him, they sneered and ran off, shouting obscenities at him as they left. Jam Jam got out of his truck and ran to the girl, using his clown top to cover her body. Uncaring of the coldness, settling in on his lanky tank top covered frame. He gently nudged her and brushed her long hair out of her face. He noticed blood on the girl's lips and cried in fear as he inspected her mouth, revealing her tongue had been cut out. He screamed and cried for help, trying to get anyone's attention that may have been near. It was then that the town's biggest gossip came jogging by dragging her Yorkshire Terrier by its leash. She had been scolding the little dog on not going to the bathroom yet when she saw Jam Jam hovering over the girl clad only in his tank top and clown pants. The woman screamed and ran off as Jam Jam tried desperately to get her to call someone for help. He had no phone and he didn't want to leave the poor girl by herself. She was still alive but just barely. After a moment, Angry shouts came from down the road, and Jam Jam stood up to flag them down, not knowing that the men were coming for him. The lady had told anyone and everyone she could find that Jam Jam had hurt and possibly killed a young girl down by a Bernathy bridge. She came to the house where some of the boys who attacked the girl lived, and as she told their father what she saw, the boys quickly agreed and lied that they had also seen Jam Jam but ran off because they were scared of him. 
His momentary relief was quickly shot down as some of the men grabbed him and violently dragged him into the nearby woods. The other men stayed behind to get the girl to the hospital. Jam Jam cried and yelled for them to listen to what happened and what he saw, but the men were crazed with a violent mob mentality. Freak, they shouted, as they pried open his mouth to cut out his tongue. Knew there was something not right about you, others screamed as they spat on him. A grown man acting the way you do? Of course you'd be a pedo, Moore yelled. The mob was practically rabid in their hate for this guy they always deemed as odd. After cutting off his tongue, the men strung up poor Jam Jam in the woods as he whimpered and cried. Jam Jam's fear and pain and confusion morphed into rage and hate as he hung there wondering why this was to be his end when his entire life was about making others happy. He vowed to himself that he would have his revenge. After Jam Jam took his last breath, the men cheered and set his body on fire, but they were not done with their hate. The one possession that Jam Jam owned and took such pride in was his ice cream truck. The men laughed as they banded together as one to push Jam Jam's beloved truck into the river that ran under a Bernathy bridge. The young girl miraculously survived, and when she learned what happened to Jam Jam, she cried silently for days after she wrote down to authorities what really happened on that fateful night. The police arrested the boys that had actually raped the young girl, but the small mob of men that murdered Jam Jam were never tried. The reason being that they were acting in self-defense for the girl on the assumption that Jam Jam was assaulting her. It honestly didn't matter what they did. The damage had been done. An innocent man was tortured and killed by a group of people that already had prejudice against him for being what they deemed to be different. And ever since then, our town has been in the grips of Jam Jam's revenge. Or so it goes, I guess. I do believe the story about the girl and Jam Jam's innocence, however, because my source for that is someone I highly trust. My great aunt was the poor girl on the bridge. But as far as Jam Jam's revenge, I don't know how much I believe, since I've never seen anything. According to rumors, people walking around past dusk will start to hear the jingle of his ice cream truck. If you hear the jingle, you're pretty much marked for death. They said Jam Jam lets you hear the jingle of his ice cream truck to know that he is coming for you and later, while you're in your nice warm bed thinking you're safe, you'll hear it again. The jingle. Jam Jam will come to your room, and you'll smell the scent of scorched flesh before you actually see him. Slowly, very slowly, you'll start to see the blackened claws of his fingers as he snakes his way on your bed. You won't be able to run as his badly burned and decayed face looms over you, and then, just when you open your mouth to scream, he rips your tongue from you. Honestly, now that I think about it, I don't believe it. Rather, I don't want to believe it. Considering that I was on my way to my girlfriend's house to drop off some textbooks she left at my place. I thought I could get there in time and be back before the sunset, but my neighbor Edward stopped me to chat and I lost track of time. The sun had just set, but it's fine. I'm almost at my house anyway. Hey Brian, you hear that? My next door neighbor called to me from his driveway. His family had just moved here about a month ago from Texas, so he hadn't heard the story of Jam Jam the Ice Cream Man. I shook my head no in response to his question, although I did hear it. Clear as day, I hurried in as my neighbor called out to me. What the hell do you suppose an ice cream man is doing out at this time of night?